Hey guys, so today I wanted to do some crafting. I'm gonna make this shaker style bookmark and if you wanna make it, go ahead and follow along with me. So before I start the tutorial, I'd just like to show you a couple of other bookmarks that I've made and I have these listed on my eBay website that I'll link in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing them. Okay guys, so now to begin the tutorial, I'm just going to use this um, gold piece of scrap paper. These are laminating sheets that I'm going to be using. And then I have some sequins, some rhinestone, I don't think I use those rhinestone. There's some beads that I bought, um, they're actually bracelets I bought at the Goodwill, but I just cut them up and used the beads. I've got some owl stickers. These are all going to be like a fall themed bookmark. And I will tell you that the bookmark that I make here on camera is a little bit thicker than the ones that I made to sell on my eBay site. Um, I decided to kind of scale it back a little bit and do just like a two by eight. So I won't be giving you dimensions during this tutorial. I will just be showing you the process. And I did want to add in that this whole bookmark, the shaker bookmark, was inspired by um, Scrap to World, she does amazing crafts. And what she did was a shaker um, page in her traveler's journal. And so when I saw her do that with the um, laminating sheets, I was like, oh my gosh, I bet I could make a bookmark like that. And we are always grabbing for bookmarks around here because we're big readers in this house. So I thought, how cute would these be to have at your desk or to give to somebody with a book? I thought that would be a cute idea or give like a Barnes and Noble gift card or whatever your local bookstore is. And then also give one of these bookmarks as a gift. I just thought it was really cute. So I'm going to set this to music and if I see anything that I need to explain, I'll hop in here and explain it to you.
I just wanted to add like a little stamped sentiment in the middle of this bookmark. So what I'm showing you here, this is double-sided um, tape runner that I get at the Dollar Tree. This is my Tuxedo Black Memento um, ink pad. All of these stamps came from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if you've seen them. I haven't seen them there lately, but um, I've bought all of these stamps and they come with this acrylic block. So I'm just gonna choose a sentiment and some fall leaves and just um, stamp myself a sentiment to put in the middle of that bookmark. So I taped these two pieces of paper together. You don't have to do this. I just wanted it to be double-sided, um, both with the uh, gold foil leaves on it. But if you're happy with the back of your paper you don't have to do this this is just an optional extra that I did If you see me putting my hand out at all in the middle of this video, I think I do it right here. Um, it's because I'm super shaky today and that just happens sometimes with Graves' disease, but I just, um, sometimes I wonder, am I being clumsy? Am I not being able to do things just because I'm just having a clumsy day or am I really super shaky? <laughs> it's usually I'm really super shaky, but that's if you see me putting my hand out like that. I'm just checking myself. So all I'm doing here is just measuring this bookmark to make sure that when I do the laminating sheet that I make it big enough to be able to slide this bookmark into and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a couple minutes. So now I'm going to be cutting my first set of laminating sheets and I'm going to try my best to explain this but if I don't do a good job explaining it go ahead and click that link down below for Scrap the World because she did an amazing job figuring it out so and explaining it. So what you're trying to do is create the outside of a bookmark that you can slide that piece of paper that we made into. So I would usually add a quarter of an inch on each side, on all sides, of the paper bookmark that you measured out that you want to make. Um, you can do it either way. You can either make the laminating pouches first and then cut your scrap paper down, which I think that's what I did when I did um, a whole bunch of them that I put on eBay. I think I did that first. I did. I made all the laminating pouches first. So what you do is you take the two pieces of paper and you flip them to the opposite side. Do you see how I did that? Flip it to the opposite side like that. And that way it will form a pouch when you put it in between another sheet. So you grab a new sheet you take those two pieces that you flipped inside out, line them up correctly. That's probably like the biggest part is lining them up. Put them back in the laminating pouch. And then when you run it through, the two sheets that you flipped opposite sides, they're not gonna adhere together because it's not the adhering side. You flipped it to the shiny side. So now, the laminating pouch is going to laminate all around it, but those two pieces are gonna remain a pocket because they're not gonna to adhere together. So I'm just um, trying to get it as close as I can to being right on top of each other. And then I'll close the laminating pouch here, and I have to laminate off um, camera, I'm sorry, my laminator's over in the kitchen because it has a short cord. Um, but you wanna make sure that you get you know, an eighth to a quarter of an inch all the way around it because that is where it actually seals up because remember, this is a pouch. So let me go, like I said, I'm probably sure I did not describe that very well. Um, go ahead and click the link down below because she did an amazing job describing it. Okay, so I laminated them and cut them out and I didn't realize my camera wasn't on. Duh. So here they are cut out, and what I'm gonna do is just cut the very top to form the pocket. See that? 
you cut a quarter to an eighth to a quarter inch all around, but then you slice the top all the way off so you form your pocket. I think this is the most satisfying part of this whole process is putting all of the little um, stickers and gems in. The gems are so freaking cute. They are so adorable. I absolutely love them and I got all of them from the Dollar Tree. Except for those bracelets that I told you I bought from Goodwill that I cut apart. They are so adorable. So all I'm doing here is I'm taking a piece of clear tape and I'm just gonna seal that top. Um, because we don't want all of our beautiful gems to fall out. So, you know, you just do half on one side, half on the other, flip it over and go ahead and seal it up. And then, um, I don't know if I recorded it, but off camera, I went ahead and put a topper on it with some ribbon. I don't think I recorded that part, but you'll see in the, um, in the finished picture below, you'll see how it turned out. So that's, that's really it right there. That's all. That's all you have to do. Um, the topper and the ribbon are just a little bit extra, but how cute is that? Hannah absolutely loves it. She has it at her desk right now. She's, she's in love with it, she loves it. I hope you like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.